Hello and welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Guess what? We got a giveaway. That's correct. We are doing a giveaway. What am I giving away? Well, I'll announce that in a little bit because this is just the introduction to all of my giveaways. Now, how do my giveaways work? Well, they work in a couple of ways, but the most common way that they're going to work, well, first of all, this is in all of them. You need to be a subscriber, that's number one. Number two, you need to ring the notification bell because if you don't subscribe and ring the notification bell, then you're not gonna know that, hey, you won because you're not gonna know and you only have a certain length of time to actually get back to me and say, yay, thanks, I won. Here's where you can send it to because that's part of the deal too. You gotta get back to me in a reasonable amount of time. Otherwise, I just move on, I don't care. You didn't want it that bad, I guess, because you didn't really subscribe and ring the notification bell or whatever. So most of the time, people get back to me within 48 hours, and then they get something. Any case, so here's how it works, okay? Once you've subscribed and you've rang the notification bell, I put up a video. I put up videos every Wednesday and Sunday. That's something else that you can do, is just go and look for Knife Chats with Tobias every Wednesday and Sunday because that's usually when I put them up. Sometimes there's something else in between. And then basically what I'm going to do is if you uh, went to that and watched that video and left a comment on that video and you are a subscriber and you have rang the notification bell, within 24 hours of that video going up, I'm going to go through and use a random comment picker of some kind and randomly pick a comment based off of the first 24 hours of comments. And then out of those random comments, if the person has made a comment of substance, by that I mean I can actually look at the comment and tell that they actually read or watched the video, then that person's gonna win something. What are they gonna win? Well, two things for sure everyone wins. One of them is my handsome picture there, the Knife Chats with Tobias sticker. I think that's kind of in focus. It's kind of hard to see. Is that better? Maybe that's better. And the other thing everyone always gonna win is right here, a P38. And then the other thing they're gonna win is probably a knife of some kind and maybe some other swag and stuff. Uh, I don't really know what you're gonna win because I haven't really picked what is going to be won this is just the introduction. But basically, that's what it comes down to. You, you subscribe to the channel, you watch my videos, you leave a comment within the first 24 hours, a comment of substance, like I said, that lets me know that you actually watched the video. So first, it doesn't work, and wow, that was awesome, is, even if it was really awesome, isn't really good enough either. Something that lets me know that you actually paid attention to the video. Uh, comment about the slides, comment about uh, what you didn't like or did like about the knife, something of that nature, so that I know you actually uh, paid attention to the video and you're in. It's just that simple. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, I'll pick a, a winner based off of the first 24 hours of comments and then uh, you'll see this video pop up a day or so later. And uh, it'll say not only you won a sticker and a P38, but also some knife, which I'll be talking about in just a minute after this part is over, as well as probably some other swag and stuff. And then it'll give you the address of knife.chats at yahoo.com uh, and tell the winner, hey, contact me within 48 hours and probably give a date, a specific date within that 48 hours that you need to get a hold of me get back to me by that certain date then I move on and uh, sorry nobody really won anything. Now the other way I do uh, uh, random winners is I just look through comments on uh, on various videos that I've done and if you said something that was really insightful or something like that or I really enjoyed what you had to say I'll probably reply to your comment saying hey really liked what you said uh, send me an email to knife.chats at yahoo.com and um, 
give me your address, I got something I want to send you. Those are the two ways it's going to happen most of the time. Occasionally I'll do one of those typical, oh here's the big giveaway and I'll say everything that you're going to win and then you got to get in, entered by such and such date and stuff like that. But those are really hard for me to do and I, I like it easier just to randomly pick something off of, uh, off of uh, the videos that I've already done. Um, that so that that's how it goes folks and uh so any case because you're seeing this video now somebody won something and you'll probably see this intro introduction uh more and more in the future of some really handsome sophisticated guy telling you hey congratulations somebody just won something from tobias at knife chats at tobias got to get my name straight <laughs> Anyway, stick around. Here's what somebody won and who won it. Now there's the fade out. Go ahead, fade out. No, seriously, fade out. Okay, I know you're all out there going, what did I win, what did I win, what did I win? Well, first of all, only one person won. That's the way it goes. That's why it's a giveaway, one person won. Um, and... By now you probably know which video it's based off of because I just released my reply to my own open tag on Drop Dead Knives and uh, this video is coming out right after that. So guess what? If you made a comment on the first 24 hours on my Drop Dead uh, Knife video reply, then you're in here and you might win this particular knife. And if you were actually paying attention during that uh, Drop Dead reply video, I actually mentioned the knife that I would be giving away in the very near future, and that was the Victorinox Walker. And here you have it. This is the Victorinox Walker. This is a small knife. It is a two-layer knife, no back tools with it, so you do not have a corkscrew or Phillips driver on the back. You also do not have a reamer or punch with a sewing eye. Those do not come with the Victorinox Walker. This is a very basic knife, and it is a very, very cool knife. If you've never had one, well, you should have one. And if you're lucky enough to win this one, then guess what? You'll have one. So what do you get in the walker? Like I mentioned, two layers, two back springs. However, you got three blades up on the top here. Let's break out that first blade, which is the blade all the way in the back. The number three blade is your combination tool, better known as the combo tool because combo tool sounds so much better than combination tool and what do you get in the combo tool well you got four functions in a combo tool besides a nail nick is a nail nick considered a function well it is used to open the blade so maybe you got five functions in your combo tool you have a nail nick and then you have a flathead screwdriver a flathead screwdriver used to open flathead screws. However, this is small enough that it will work on some of the larger Phillips screwdrivers. But do not confuse the combo tool screwdriver with a screwdriver that you buy at a bar that has vodka and orange juice in it. There is no vodka and orange juice in a combo tool screwdriver. It is just used to open screws. You also have a bottle opener or a cap lifter as I like to call it. Does the cap lifter work? Well, let's find out. We have here a, what is this? Vihen Stefaner Crystalol Weissbier Crystal Clear Premium Bavarium Come, something like that. It is from the world's oldest brewery, so it says, uh, since 1040. Yeah, so I don't know how good it is. We will find out. I will find out. But will the combo tool bottle opener work on it? Well, you can't see it down there. Let me readjust the camera. Okay, bottle cap. Combo tool. Yes, it works. It opens bottles. Thankfully, because I am dying of thirst. Now let me reposition the camera back to where it belongs. You know what, but first. I guess you're not getting this bottle of beer. I'm going to have it instead. 
I will instead send you the cap of a used bottle of beer. So you get a cap. <laughs> hey, yay. Okay, enough with the beer. We're returning to the world famous Victorinox Walker and its super excellent combo tool. We've covered the need for the screwdriver and the most excellent cap lifter or bottle opener. And we've shown that that bottle opener is fantastic. But did you know the combo tool also has a wire stripper? So in case you're out there walking around and you see a wild wire that needs stripping, you can strip it. Uh, I really never used the wire stripper for stripping wire, but I've heard it works, so you got that going for you. But did you also know I said it was for function? Well, and that doesn't include the, the nail neck for opening the blade. It's got four functions. But where's the other function, you ask? Well, it's also a can opener. Can you imagine that? It's a can opener too. Not only can you use this to open bottles, you can open cans with it too. Or so they say. I really don't find it that very good for opening cans. I, well, let me put it this way. When it comes to Victorinox can openers, I think the best one you're gonna find is right here. This one really works. It's got a nice sharp edge to it. And if you know how you're using it, then it's gonna work great. With most can openers, you pull back. This one, no, you cut and you push forward as you cut and go around the can and it works great once you know how to use it. So much better can opener on your typical uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife. And that can opener has a small little screwdriver tip here that also works for uh, a uh, Phillips driver. I have also been told that this will work for a Phillips driver too, but it doesn't work nearly as well as that one does for Phillips driving. That one, <clears throat> this one, the combo tool bottle opener or can opener, uh, functions like the one you see on this Vanger here where you actually cut down and pull back. The difference though is this Vanger can opener actually has a sharp edge and actually cuts into the can and makes it easy to open the can. This one, not so much because it is just flat. There's no edge on it. And so you really have to work on getting that little spot right there to cut into that can. But it will work in a pinch. But quite frankly, I like the dog leg can opener on the old Vangers better because for one thing, you see there, it says can opener patent it and it shows how to use it this one well it's too embarrassed to even be called a can opener it doesn't say that it's a can opener but it is a combo tool so that's really cool um from now you can probably guess that of all the blades on the walker the combo tool is the one i like the least i would have much rather this been a nail file with a little cleaning tip on it instead of what we have here I would rather see this with a nail file. The other blade you have on here in the back is your standard Swiss Army blade, you know, that you find on an 84 millimeter knife. And it's not a bad little blade as far as Swiss Army knives go. And I like Swiss Army knives, so I like this blade. Yes, it is not the super steel that so many people like to talk about, but it is still a good knife with a, you know, for an EDC carry. And if you're just out walking, why not? So you got that going. And then the best thing about this thing, especially if you're out walking in the woods, is a wood saw. Now you're thinking, why in the world do you need a wood saw when you're out just walking? Well, if you're out in the woods walking, you may want to uh, actually get a walking stick. And if you don't have one with you, you can actually use this wood saw to cut like a two inch thick branch off of a tree or a two inch thick sapling down and make your own walking stick, which uh, I have done on many occasions when I did not have a walking stick with me. and. To be honest with you, the wood saws that you find on a Victorinox Swiss Army knife are probably the best wood saw you will ever find on a pocket knife, bar none. These things cut through wood like nothing. They are just fantastic. And uh, if you're out there hiking, it's always nice to have a little wood saw with you. So this blade 
and the main blade are fantastic. I wish they would have uh, skipped the combo tool for a nail file with a uh, cleaner tip on it. Beyond that, you also have some scale tools going on. And one of them is a pair of tweezers. And you're saying, why do I need tweezers on a knife? Well, if you're out there walking and you say, I forgot my walking stick. So you take your saw and you cut down a branch for your walking stick and you go and cut it and everything else. And then you use your blade here to strip all the bark off and everything else. Somewhere in the process, you have probably picked up a a splinter in a finger or something and you can use your tweezers to remove that splinter now of course you could have just decided I'll just wait until I get home and then remove that splinter but if you were to do that chances are the the wound might get infected and then the next thing you know gangrene sets in they end up having to amputate your thumb or your whole hand or worse yet you don't get your hand amputated and you the sepsis and the blood poisoning goes all through your body and you die simply because you didn't take the tweezers and remove that little splinter. So those tweezers may save your life when you're out there walking. So it's important. And on the other side, you've got the toothpick. And a lot of people, oh, I don't like to use the toothpick on those knives because those knives are nasty and they're in my pocket and everything. Well, clean your knife once in a while and clean your toothpick because you're going to need that toothpick because what happens when you're out there walking along a trail and you see this really nice looking girl walking up from the other direction? You go, man, I really want to meet her. But do I still have some of my breakfast in my teeth? Oh, well, I'll just sneak over here behind a tree and I'll pull out my toothpick and I'll pick everything out of my teeth so that when I walk by her I can smile and she'll see my nice smile and I'll say hi and she'll say hi back and we'll hit it off and we'll have a great time but no you don't have a toothpick so what happens you go out there you smile at her and she goes "Ooh, did you see all that crap he's got in his teeth I don't want to be with him and she just walks on by and you missed out the lifetime event you know you may have had the greatest time in your life but no, you didn't have a toothpick. So toothpick, tweezers, very important. Knife blade, very important. Saw, very important. Combo tool, I guess if you really want to open a bottle of beer, fine. But really, I would much rather have a file. So that's the knife you're going to get. Well, you're not getting this knife. This knife is my knife. It's got my fingerprints all over it. And you're not getting this one. What you're getting is, like I mentioned, you're getting one in a package it's still wrapped up it's still in the package uh and there's no fingerprints on the knife well there might be fingerprints on the knife but my fingerprints aren't on the knife because it's still inside the packaging the fingerprints that are on this knife are probably from one of the workers in the swiss army knife factory so those would be collector fingerprints and really cool so that's something else to think about you've got a swiss army knife walker with collector fingerprints and a bottle cap. And hopefully you get more than that because how long has this video been going on? And yes, I've been talking for a really, really long time, but you never know, right after this video, I might do, end up giving away this knife or something like that based on replies to this video. So probably not, but you never know. So, but that's the way I keep your attention. Any case, what else are you getting? Well, I already mentioned you're getting this one. Look at that. Is that not the best sticker in the world? And look at how big that sticker is. It almost fills up your whole screen. Well, in actuality, the sticker is a two by two sticker. That's what they say. And these stickers are, yeah, two by two. A little two by two square sticker of Knife Chats with Tobias on YouTube. And it gives my address. But you already know the address because you are subscribed and you have already hit the notification bell. And you are also getting a P38. Why are you getting a P38? Because the P38 is the best portable can opener in the universe. That is right. People come from other planets just to steal our P38s because they know this can opener works better than anything else. If an alien life form has to open up one of our spaceships, they grab a P38 because they know that's how reliable it is. And we also know that the can opener, as I mentioned 
on the Walker is not the best can opener in the world. Uh, it's probably the least favorite of all of my can openers on any kind of pocket knife. But the P38, which was a gift to the United States Army from the gods, is the best can opener in the world, and you are going to get one. And if you do not agree that the P38 is the best can opener in the world, and you leave that comment below, you are not going to win this prize. It's just that simple. Okay, some of you are out there like Peggy Lee singing, is that all there is? Of course not. There's still more. Of course there's more. We'll start off with this one here. The swag begins. A log and jotter notebook. A little notebook by log and jotter. This one's in grids. And look at it, what you have on it. You've got a little guy walking on a topographical map. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, even more. Other side, you got another little guy walking on a topographical map. Yes, two little guys walking on a topographical map. It's like they're out in the wilderness walking. And you got a walker. Isn't this cool? So when you go and take a walk in the woods, you can take your little log and jotter notebook with you and you can write down about all the great adventures you're having while walking out in the woods. And that will just be fantastic. You can use it, you can write down all sorts of notes about everything. And then the cool thing about this is when the uh, park ranger comes about and finds your cold, dead, half-eaten body, that was chewed up by a bear, he's gonna find your log and jotter notebook and it'll explain all the great adventures you had up to the moment when you got eaten by a bear. Is that not cool? Of course it's cool. And yes, of course, besides just the log and jotter and the, uh, the walker knife and the uh, P38 and the sticker, you'll also get this really cool SMKW sticker. Matter of fact, you're going to get two SMKW stickers. Why are you getting two SMKW stickers? Is it because I endorse them? Is it because they endorse me? No! It's because they keep sending me an SMKW sticker with every order I purchase. And I've got so many SMKW stickers that I was actually thinking of wallpapering my bathroom until my wife said no so i'm sending these stickers to you so that once you have enough smkw stickers you can wallpaper your bathroom and maybe smkw will endorse you because you have an smkw bathroom won't that be cool now not only are you getting the stickers you're also getting this really cool little dangler that you can hang off of your keys and this is really cool and really important. You know why? Because remember when we were talking about the bear that ate you when you took that walk in the woods? Well, he probably ate your keys also. But those keys are going to come out of that bear one way or the other. And when they come out, they're going to have this little SMKW dangler on the keychain. And you know what that means? It means the park ranger is going to find the keys or some lucky person is going to find the keys. They're going to see that the keys belong to smkw.com and they're going to send the keys back to smkw. And you know what they can do with those keys then? They can melt them down and make knives. It's all like the big circle of knives. So that's why you get to put this key ring on, or this little dangler on your keychain so that when the bears eat you, your keys get donated to Smoky Mountain Knife Works and they get to make knives with them. Isn't that cool? So those are all the great things you're going to win. You get the stickers and my sticker, the P38, the walker, the log and jotter notebook, and the little dangler, plus the slightly used and dented bottle cap. Wait, that's not enough for you? How about this also then? I will also handpick something out of the big box of junk knives and you'll also get something out of here thrown in the box with you. It might be one knife. It might be two knives. It might be the whole box. I don't know. Something in the big box of junk knives will also be going along with everything else you want. Oh, that includes the things that tried to sneak out of the big box of junk knives. But all of this is going to be yours. The, uh, the log and jotter notebook.
the little dangler for your key rings. Their stickers, the other stickers, the P38. Where'd the P38 go? The P38. All of that's yours. But hey, if that's not good enough, you are getting a real nice knife here. You're getting the uh, Victorinox Walker. So, and what are you paying for it? Nothing. So you just won it. Somebody did. And all I can say is congratulations. And let's see who won this wonderful, fabulous prize. Okay, I have no idea how many of you thought, wow, he's going to do it now, but I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to share it. Do the old copy. Go to the random comment picker. I like the fact that three people didn't like it. Hopefully it's not a person who hated the video who's going to win. But hey, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. So, there we have it. Um... Get your YouTube comments. There's probably not that many. Look, 28. 1 in 28 chances of winning. And um, let me get over here. Make sure I get this in the right spot. So many times I screw it up and you don't actually see who won. We do want to make sure that whoever wins, wins. And start raffle and pick random comment. So here we go. Who is going to be the lucky winner? <laughs> Knife Detector, congratulations. You just won a Victorinox Swiss Army Knife Walker. And so that's the way it's going to work. I'm going to just grab a random video and uh, look at the first 24 hours worth of comments. And somebody in that first 24 hours... Uh, is going to have a chance of winning something uh, it's not going to be every video but it's going to be often enough so there you have it uh, congratulations to the winner let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at knife chats with the pies i really do appreciate it and i do appreciate any comments that you leave so please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up or that you know what uh, and also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.